So the idea is, without compromising on comfort, to downsize. Replace this with something like this. Smaller mattress, rolls up, easier to pack. Barrels are just one waterproofing system. They're really popular because they're quick to get in it, pretty waterproof. Oh, look at that. Now this is cool. This Outdoor Research dry bag has a double closure. They say it's good for brief submersion, so uh, this bag's been in this barrel for about six days. Still dry. Okay, that's cool. So the double lock dry bag seemed pretty dry. This is a single one. It's been in here for six days too. Let's just see what happened. Uh, okay, that's a little bit wet. So uh, if you're gonna uh, submerge these longer than they're supposed to be, like five or six days, go with the double uh, closure. Each packing system or waterproofing system has its benefits and its drawbacks. The barrel is quick to get into, nice big hole, but it's kind of heavy. And it costs money. Yellow jar, cheap, easy to, to use, but you get tired of trying to jam stuff in the little hole. And <coughs> smells a bit. Stuff sack system, uh, pretty cool, compressible, get a lot of stuff in there. And then for the kitchen stuff, some kind of container that's hard so the animals can't chew into it at night uh, works really well. The whole uh, trick to canoe camping is being able to find your stuff and have it stay dry. So I'm going to go with some uh, little uh, ditty bags here that have uh, kit bags, toothbrush, all that kind of stuff. Then you can move into a, a dry bag. You move into the uh, double top dry bag. And this one has a window in it so you can see what's inside. That's pretty cool. Move up to this uh, big one here, about 25 liters. And uh, you got a lot, of, a lot of room for gear. I prefer to put all the little bags into one big pack sack. It just keeps everything together. When you roll the dry bags, make sure there aren't any folds in the material. Roll down several rolls to get a good seal. You can also push down the top of the dry bag to purge the air. It just makes a smaller bag. When you load the gear into the canoe, think about making it balanced. If you're going to have somebody small on the other end of the canoe, put some heavy gear at their end. It's a good idea to try to have the heaviest stuff down near the bottom of the canoe. It acts a bit like ballast, but more importantly, you won't make the canoe top heavy. If I'm looking at paddling in the rain all day, I'll put a few sticks on the bottom of the canoe just to keep the gear about an inch off the bottom. Then it's not sloshing around in the water all day. If it's your first time going on an overnight canoe trip, it might be worthwhile dry packing your canoe on land to make sure everything's gonna fit.